My dad uh, grew up in a very big family uh, and because of that um, it, the house was always busy, active, he didn't get much time to study and so he actually left school when he was 15 without any qualifications. My dad's a farmer um, so I think that's where the kind of uh, tenacity comes from. Our family, we're kind of a group who kind of push for things that we want. So I, I always wanted to be a doctor um, as far as I could remember but what, what really uh, affirmed it for me was that when I became unwell I got to see what doctors did both in an outpatient clinic as an inpatient and there is a part of me that thought well I can do that uh, and I thought I'd be good at it um, hopefully I am good at it. Looking back the first time I actually thought about really wanting to be a doctor was um, I was recently looking through some stuff from primary school and I actually had a picture of me drawing myself as a doctor so <laughs> that was about when I was about eight so there's nothing else really that I really wanted to do. You know, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the most ideal setup. Um, my A-level chemistry exam, we borrowed equipment and pipettes from the local grammar school. My experience of the support at school was, um, I didn't really have any at school. Um, on a number of occasions during my GCSEs and A-levels, I was told that I would never get into medicine, so give up now, by teachers. Um, and it was only through the support of my parents that I actually managed to get into medicine. It was hard at times to try and push myself forward because I knew for well that in classes, for example, things may not have been covered as well as uh, other times, for example. I'd get a book from the library and make sure I'd covered those areas. And actually that, w that worked well because in some exams, those gaps that hadn't been filled otherwise actually came up in the exam. And so in the end, I, I did get the grades I wanted to get. I got seven A stars and two A's at GCSE, and, and a similar thing happened for A-levels.